copper was first used to sterilize wounds thousands of years ago. And today is power to kill bacteria still works. In Health Watch, Shelly Botot tells us researchers are hoping to one day use copper to create new antibiotics for a strain of pneumonia. Could copper be the key to supercharge new antibiotics to kill bacteria? Professor Michael Johnson says it could be. Jeannie Street has had pneumonia three times. It's left her with asthma and permanent lung damage. I, I was just, just devastated. I was just so upset. Just, I don't know, it just takes all hope from you. And it's a horrible disease. Her doctors told her only one antibiotic will work for her. So she's closely watching research on how copper may help develop new ones. With a bacteria that still kills 1.5 million people per year, with 50% of those being under the age of five, we're trying to find new treatments, and we're doing that through copper. Streptococcus pneumoniae causes pneumonia, ear infections, meningitis, and pink eye. Copper is toxic to the bacteria. Right now, Dr. Johnson is focusing on disrupting the COPY protein, which helps bacteria get rid of copper. All of a sudden, the bacteria can't cause disease anymore. Aye we have a potential therapeutic target. He has a compound with copper in vitro studies now that kills 99.9% .9 of the bacteria in a couple of hours. He's encouraged by that and so is Jeannie. The bad bugs are winning and the antibiotics are losing. So if there would be something as simple and as easy and as, as copper, it sounds, sounds marvelous to me. Especially with antibiotic resistance rising and few new drug options. Johnson says his team is making faster progress now on figuring out the basic science of how copper works. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelley Botot, Local 5 News.